So this is going to be your longest road trip ever. Yes, it is. Kind of cool, different boat, right? It's really cool. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Dave and I are here. We are catching a different ferry. This is called the Coho. Now it goes from Vancouver Island, this is Victoria, across to the United States, to Port Angeles. And uh, so we don't have to go like a ferry over onto the mainland in Canada and then drive down, which what is what you've seen me do in the past. That is the Peace Arch. So there are multiple ways for us to kind of, this is the quickest way. Car is way back in the corner over there. They put us right in the front. This is where you actually get all passport documentation done. Load the ferry here. It's a black ball ferry line. We got the cars right here ready at the very, very front. Nice of the guys to set us up with that. So we are on our way, you guys, back to Los Angeles. It's gonna be a 20 hour road trip. Dave's first time doing any major road trip, obviously in a supercar, let alone. Dave, have you done many big long road trips? Or is this kind of like your main voyage here, buddy? I drove to the uh, gas station a few times last week. That was a good five minute drive. <laughs> Joking aside, I've done the Grand it, it, Prairie, Northern Alberta. It's 14 hours. Oh, so this is going to be your longest road trip ever. Yes, it is. Combined with first time in a supercar. Correct. Manual. Correct. First time driving manual. Your I'm left leg, this is going to get a good workout. There's an auto mode, isn't there? Just leave it in six and just ride the clutch off the stoplights. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to jump on the ferry, show you guys some of the trip. Then we get off on the other side, we go through yet a secondary kind of customs check. And then I need gas big time. I am, I'm on the edge and I know not to trust the Lamborghini gauge. They told me right when I bought this car, do not trust the Lamborghini fuel gauge. Hey, you know how to load a supercar onto a ferry? Yeah, straight down, straight down. All right, Heavy I'm gonna ball. watch you rip the bumper and straight down. I'll watch you rip the bumper off. Do, do rear bumper delete, just rip it right off. Oh, Dave's got the angle. He's got the angle. Hey, you wanna go see the engine room? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Hold on to the handrails when going down the stairway. That's a little customs check. Then we're on the road, I need gas. You guys, we made it. Welcome to Port Angeles. Here we go, here's what the route looks like. Uh, 20 hours and 50, well basically call it 21 hours. 21 hours. Time check is 1245. Let's see what we can cut that down to. Hey, don't drive like a See that right there? I'm in the red for oil. I need to get some oil. So we made a pit stop at Chevron. I also need gas, so this should work out nicely. Hey, thanks, buddy. Saved the day. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take this thing all off. Do you have an Allen key? Oh, dude, whoa, Mr. it's Fire. not my first rodeo, bro. It's not my first Usually rodeo. Usually really competent, but today I'm really what? Low on oil. We had to stop and rebalance Dave's wheels because he was losing weights off of them, so you won't see that in the vlog. We stopped in eight and just decided that that, that didn't need to be in the vlog. Oh, look at that. What a sexy shot of the B-Rogue exhaust. That's 
some titanium art right there. Red. Really? Yeah. I wasn't worried about it because Mark was like, I think you have a faulty sensor. Yeah. But uh, no, it was in the red, so I was worried about it. And uh, we'll have a look. You gotta wipe it first. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, like you know, right? Now stick it back in. And lock it, like lock it right I did. in. I did. Yeah. Go all did the way you? down, right down. Oh, okay, you go all the way down. The viewers will contest. Let's see. Phil. Do not fill. So where's the full line? I think we're right in between. We're in a good spot. So, half later? It was like not even registering before. Oh, really? Is that bad? No, it's good actually. It oh, okay. It more efficient. More efficient? Where's the oil go? In there. Oh, you already put some in? I put the whole thing in. You're kidding. No. You put the whole thing, that's where it went? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's done. It's in the garbage. I put the whole Bro, thing in. These do like naturally from day one burn oil. It's normal. And we're good, yes. Back on the road. Pit stop. Pit stop, pit stop. Hey, Dave. Yeah. How's the car running? That was an experience, that's for sure. What do you mean? First time doing corners at the speed limit. <laughs> you liking it? Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's knowing what the car is capable of doing. So I'm used to regular cars, right? So I find myself coming in slower than I should. I get in, I'm like, oh yeah, that car can do faster than this. Check this out. Guess what happened to my car? You'll never guess. No, come here. Oh, 60,000 kilometers. 60,000, dude. 60,000 reliable hold kilometers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of there, Get light out of there, fault. Light fault. Blah, blah, blah. That's in seatbelt, yeah, yeah. God, oh, there it is. Look at it. Hold on. Turn that off. Look at you guys. 60,385,000 kilometers. Dude, what'd you, what'd you buy it at? Supercharged. You bought it at 13,000 kilometers? Nine. So 51,000 kilometers forced induction. At like, red line a lot. Yeah. That's impressive. Uh, reliable car. Reliable. Let me Bottom. sit in this thing. I haven't even sat in this. Oh, oh dude. You have so much more room than me. That seat? And your seat look is- Look at this, look at this. Your seat's so it, much. It goes back to the point you can't even touch the pedals. Dude, and you, and, okay, now you're, now you're squishing me. Um, <laughs> this seat is so comfortable. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Whole, go sit in my seat for a minute. I'll just pull, fill up some rain on Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Audi definitely makes a more comfortable cockpit. I think I remember that from before, but even these, you know, first gen R8s are, this is comfy. Although, I wouldn't want for this road trip, I wouldn't want to be shifting a manual. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want a manual the whole time. That that would get tiring. We haven't even hit traffic yet. Wait till we hit LA. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's like sitting on a bench. Yeah. And then look at the room. Oh yeah. It, it feels almost claustrophobic in here. It's really tight, isn't it? And like you're, you guys probably can't see this through the screen, but like his vision area with a banner here, it's like you're not seeing a stoplight when you're at the front. I, I don't stop for any of them. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Get it back into a Ventador mode. Boom. Okay, guys, back on the road. Woohoo! California! Kind of crazy. Look at the forest fires. Right off the side of the I-5 here. I 
don't know if you guys can pick up on this, but it is really smoky here. And it looks like it's almost like there's little snowflakes, but it's ash. And uh, it had this whole right lane basically closed of the five for just like miles on miles and miles. Dude, and I drove all the way to Sacramento thinking, ah, oh, no problem, we'll just pull into Sacramento and pick ourselves up a hotel room and get some sleep. Everything, everything is sold out. Not just in Sacramento, but in every little town around it for hundreds of miles. What time is it? 10 after five. <laughs> okay. I left my house 24 hours ago. I'm done. Oh, look at this, Dave, we have a pool. Really? Yeah, look at check it out. We have time to go for a swim. We're not busy today, are we? Yeah. Cool. What's up, you guys? It's the next morning. Hey, you know, I wanted to. I have to kind of. We we need to apologize to some people. We do. Because we were gonna stop, and we kind of like teased you with doing a meet and greet in Seattle and Portland, but honestly, just having to rebalance the Audi's wheels, uh, we had to make an extra pit stop at a gas station because I needed oil, and we had oh, about two and a half hours to spare and we kind of ate that up and we have a shoot to do today in LA we're still four and a half hours away so unfortunately you guys got screwed sorry guys so my apologies it won't be the last time we'll be going up and down driving the cars but wouldn't it be better to see Dave in his R8 once it's got some mods and it's not slow as hell yeah it's slow <laughs> well I mean it's slow for compared to the Huracan for sure Faster than your mom's minivan. Uh, we haven't proved that yet. We still have to race the two. Heads up. Dave. Yo, what's up? I need to show the audience the new glasses. You do. Guys, I got a new new pair of sunglasses. Everyone, it seems to always be interested in our sunglasses, our shoes, um, what backpack sometimes I have. Yeah. What's the other kind of standout thing? Luggage. Oh, luggage. Phone cases. Yeah. That's huge. When are we gonna drop this, by the way? I think everybody was wondering. To match the car. Well, here's the thing. Rock form. The new what? iPhone's coming out. Is that, oh it is. So they're waiting for the new iPhone case. They have all that worked out, so soon okay. guys. So soon. So soon. So, soon. so soon. in the meantime, I'll just show you my new glasses. By the way, this isn't a sponsored plug or anything. These are just some new Ditas I got, uh, ironically, as a gift. Thank you to the person who sent them to me. Um, I've been in love with these, so. Tell me what you guys think of them on. Good? Good. Yeah? I can hear them talking right now. You can hear them talking? They all love it. <laughs> you guys, we have some rally essentials. So for me, anyhow, one is obviously water because you want to stay hydrated we have oh hold on we have some beef jerky i like to get the tender bites and then instead of energy drinks i'm going with the uh, double shot espressos from starbucks um red bull i mean is what i do drink at times and monster and then i've kind of gotten in the habit of i kind of like these pork rind things these fried fried yeah anyhow that's my snacks for the road. We are only two hours out of LA now, and it's pretty boring. It's, it's this, it's a straight, 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 straight. So I'll try to make it entertaining for you guys. Hey guys, we made it to Avant Garde. Our boy Mark just did a full 1 million point inspection on the R8. <laughs> and we found out that Dave totally destroyed and ruined the supercar that I gave him already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not totally ruined, but here's what happened. He curbed a rim. Yep. He tried to do a paint kind of like- a polish. Polish yep. and actually destroyed the paint by putting swirl marks on it. You can't tell right now because it's so dirty. It's filthy. But the part he really truly ruined is the brakes. Mark, yeah. 
Give him a breakdown on what he did to the brakes. He uh, glazed the ever-living honk uh, out of them. Yeah. And that was trying to follow myself into some very fun corners on the mountain passes on the way down. We have several mountain passes. So last night when there was no traffic, we were having a little bit of fun. But I came in hot. you came in really hot into all the corners going down hills and destroyed the steel brakes. So I was we, thinking, I was thinking race car. I was like, race car, throttle on, brake on, repeat. Well, and what'd you learn? Uh, you can't do that. Got to you. Uh, you do Look at these. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these. Look at the lip on them too. Look at that. But the fact that we can see our reflection in there. See how it looks like chrome. Well, yeah. Not good. No bueno. Um, I have to, uh, as your crew chief, I have to not recommend you do that. Okay. So we got to get new rotors, new pads, new sensors, uh, fix a rim, and totally paint correct the entire car before it gets wrapped. So we estimated this on the live stream at about four thousand dollars. Yeah. Awesome, great, I, I cool. I would say you're not out of the woods. That color correction could be more. Oh, great, oh, perfect. Really? Yeah, it, Throw it, it on the card. Hey guys, go to shopdd.com, pick up some merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, pick up some merch so we can make a you know $2 spread on everything. Dave and destroys everything for DDE. Like DDE, Dave, Dave destroys, destroys everything. everything. Well, you love the car though, right? I love the car so much. It was so amazing. I just went full out for 20 hours. Is that how long it took us to drive here? 18. 18 hours and like because of that emotion we're gonna fix this for you and we're not even gonna judge we're gonna go do some some messing around and uh hopefully dave doesn't get arrested or go to jail tonight you're gonna bring the fire never know but we have the fire here you have the fire right here yeah you guys got to hear this thing it was just running straight piped so this is a they're claiming world's loudest we're gonna say show us one louder okay show us one louder Loud. Hold the camera with one hand so I can only plug one ear. The other ear's got like a, a ring. It's got a ring to it. <laughs> Say what's up to everybody. What's up guys? So your car has some new mods. A little bit. It sounds a little different. Alright, fire it up. Let's hear it. You guys wanna hear it? You guys want to hear Amir's new mod? Yeah, it's the Choi exhaust. Whoa! Almost, Choi almost ran me over. All right, Dave, yeah. new exhaust on uh, Amir's car. For so long, sounds really good. dude. It sounds awesome. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. We finally did it. Well, let's go terrorize. Let's do it. Oh, we got Dave in his own supercar. Hey, hey you got the, yeah, the door uh, lighty so thing. Someone did an eBay special. It looks like. I like those. Those are cool. Let's hear your car. <laughs> Choi, yes, you got sir. some. Everybody's got new stuff. What, what do you got that's new on your car? A huge wing. You got an that even... Wing, that wing wasn't big enough An for me. even bigger wing. This thing, it might be hard to see it uh, on camera, you guys, but this wing is about this much wider on either side. More like this much. Yeah. And then it's got an extended little carbon lip. What's that called? It's called a um, gurney flap. A gurney flap. That's 
That's a big wing. Hold some light back here for me, brother. Oh, what's it say? Gives you wings. I think I need some lights in my car. Not quite like how you have them, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys want to have a rev battle. Nobody does it louder than the tire slam. Hills and welcome back to Rodeo Drive. Oh look, and we got Mr. Yuri in the town. Sir. How you doing, sir? Doing good. How are you? Where is the uh, Yari Mobile? The R8 is in the shop, so we're driving the rental right now. What is that? A Jag? The A5 four-door. Rodeo Drive, folks. Welcome to the drive, sir. I love it. In your own car. Is that frowned upon here? So you can get in your own trouble. Don't, don't get to ride these coattails anymore. <laughs> we got the whole crew out tonight. Hey, welcome to. I love this. This is awesome. The RD. Okay, so we're out, dude. You guys all have to give Amir a happy birthday in the comments. It's his birthday as of right now, because it's after midnight. So you're gonna do a birthday launch. Let's do he this. He wants me to do a birthday launch. Carbis, 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 Carbis. Choi. Choi. See you tomorrow. We're going, oh, that's right. We got this new handshake. Oh yeah. You guys, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. That's all the energy you got, I'm done. Buy some merch. Support Dave. I got breaks to buy, so buy some merch. Yeah, okay. Stop wearing everybody else's merch, literally everybody. 